science does not work in the seas claims a man in the initial frames of hawa by majbaur rahman shuman in his feature film debut a film that's creating records across the globe for the bangladeshi movie industry the man perhaps prepares us for what is coming next as chan maji and his men take us to this ride to the sea in their fishing trawler and yes science does not work in this ride we take as shuman weaves a fantastical ballad soaked in the mythological backdrop of monosha mongol but does the rules of filmmaking work in his unique subversion justifying the immense hype and anticipation for this film a yes and a no is what we have to say and here we are to explain why we say so in this video on hawa that we had the opportunity to watch in the fourth bangladesh film festival in nondon kolkata before we go there here is requesting some more love in terms of likes shares and subscriptions we are nearing the milestone of 10000 subscriptions and with your support we can get there by this month The story of Monosha the snake goddess taking revenge upon Chat Shadagor by destroying seven of his ships at sea and killing his seven sons is a well-known fable across the two Bengals. Chat Shadagor the merchant was an ardent devotee of Shiva the Aryan god who refused to recognize Monosha a non-Aryan deity as an entity of worship thus fetching the wrath of the goddess. Finally Behula the newly wed wife of Chat's youngest son Lokhindar makes Monosha succumb to her love for her husband through limitless courage and deep devotion that's considered to be an epitome of love for bengali women behula succeeds in bringing chat's seven son back to life and rescuing their ships director shuman turns this folklore on its head in his script chan maji the head sailor of our story has one fishing trawler and seven accomplices with him as if standing for the seven sons of chat shadagor there is no worshiping of shiv or any other deity apart from the money the most popular god of our times as we watch chan and few of his men taking illicit routes to earn a few bucks more in their journeys in one of these routine days of fishing they pull up a young girl in their boat from the depths of the ocean thereby starting a mysterious chain of events of love lust and death is it mother nature herself who comes on board to avenge the exploitation human beings are causing to her every day in an intelligent subversion of the non-aryan deity monosha perhaps yes as the film gives enough cues to the supernatural abilities of this mysterious girl gulti until the obvious climax arrives but then gulti is also in love with iba one of chan maji's men thus also standing for a present day behula hawa had the potential to build up interesting layers at this juncture like avasavyam or anam pendam in its representation of nature and woman as both the perpetrator and shelter the mother and the menace but the screenplay fails the unique premise and build up to this point as metaphorical layers also get disconnected in the second half of the story the film does not invest enough in the ferocious nature exploitations of chan and his men to root for the revenge of gulti or the final catharsis there is perhaps comments on what chan might have done in the past a sequence where he kills and feeds on his pet bird but still not enough for us to connect at mythical proportions the deaths as they come are also quite hurried not justifying the arc of each of the unique characters we watch on board through the journey in chan's stroller and similarly lacking is the love story between gulti and iba never quite bringing out the caring comfort of nature until the end where the embrace is literally spelt out but even though hawa lacks in its screenplay it keeps you engaged through its cast and camera cinematographer khandakar kamrul hasan presents us with brilliant visuals of the sea the troller and its men that seen as the anchor goes down in the sea as does the camera the silhouette of gulti on board against the residual lights of the setting sun expressing the angst of a decaying nature or the claustrophobia of the engine room as iba spends his days with a machine in the middle of the sea in the lap of nature this brings out interesting thematic motifs through visuals which screenplay doesn't fetch well enough and then the cast led by the mighty chonchol choudhury the serpentine line at the nondon gates waiting to watch hawa for more than 6 hours or so is all for the love of this man and he again delivers the looks the expression the dialogue delivery in a broken voice 
to bring out the character of a veteran sailor. This man is such a treat to watch in all frames. Nasiruddin Khan as Nagu supports him well as a mini version of Chan and then the scenes between the two near the end of the film work so well with so little dialogues. But then as we mentioned earlier, at least these two characters demanded a better closure as the screenplay again fails both of them. Shoriful Raz is effective as Eba and Nazifa Tushi does well as Gulti, the obscure object of desire. Her presence, countenance and smiling face from a distance creates the mystic vibe and eerie feel that the character demanded. She mostly communicates without dialogue and that works in favor of the conundrum of the character. If only the screenplay could have been more layered, so much more magic could have been offered both literally and figuratively. Finally, one must talk about the music and the soundscape of Hawa, another feat that the film is thriving on. Shada Shada Kala Kala is already topping the charts and is used as a beautiful set piece in the film. We missed Atta Baje Deri Kurishna in the film, perhaps an inclusion that could have built on the half-baked chemistry between Sariful and Tushi. Hawa is a film for the large screen, and despite its drawbacks, it demands your time for the audiovisual treat it offers. While one would definitely be in want of a more matured writing, Hawa deserves appreciation for its vision and ambition. That is all from us today. Thank you for watching.